Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about uh, more Morgan Stanley stock. It's a financial holding company, provides uh, various financial products and services uh, to corporations, uh, governments, uh, financial institutions and individuals in the American, Europe, Middle East, Africa and Asia. As usually we start with a simple Wall Street. Full information should not consider as investment advice. So the company has a market cap of $109 billion. The trading has happened almost 8% below the site's estimate for a fair valuation. Also, the earnings grew by 20% over the last over the past year. Also, the company pays reliable dividends of 2.32%. The risks are that the earnings are forecasted to decline by an average of 0.7% per year for the next three years. Also, the debt is now well covered by operating cash flow and shareholders have been dilated in the past year. One year return, 20.6% outbids the industry and the market and price volatility considered as high. Valuation side we see here that 7.6% stock is undervaluated. The fair valuation should be $65 per share. The future growth forecasted to decline by 0.7% annually. And also earnings per share, as you can see, is forecasted to decline by year 2022. And from there, it should increase to the year 2023 and also it uh, is forecasted to decline from 2023 to 2024. Past performance annually almost 15% over the past five years. Annual growth. Also financial health side we see here that equity level is raising and also the debt level is decreasing since last last two earnings and uh, still the debt to equity ratio is 332.9 percent it's considered as high currently the company pays dividends uh, and the current dividend yield is 2.32 percent and uh, the payout is uh, 23 percent as dividends from the earnings and future payout is forecasted to be 29% in year 2023. On the insider trading side we see here that the individuals and companies uh, individuals has been sold in broader stock and uh, also the companies as well and on the top shareholders we see here uh, for example top uh, four five six seven eight top shareholders has been decreasing the valuation and some of them added to their portfolio also the simple safe dividends scored this uh, dividends safety as a 55 and that's considered as borderline safe. Also, the dividend grew 17% last year. And uh, on a five year mark, it's 28% per year. And also, last 20 years, 5% per year. As you can see, 2008, they uh, decreased all their, their dividends and uh, the uninterrupted dividend st strike is uh, ten, 10 years and here we see the earnings per share is grown over the past years and forecasted to decrease by one dollar uh, per share total sales are growing Shares outstanding are decreasing. Return to equity, 12%. Investing.com summarizing this stock for long-term investors as a strong buy. 
Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and see you in a future one.